Will you fing hit me? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Oh, okay. Get out of the car. Okay, I'm Get out of the car. I'm getting out. In Arkansas, that is state police officer Ryan Wingo. There's no need for that. Why are you doing that? He's doing it because his feelings were hurt. And now for this assault, Wingo is getting yeah. sued. It is not his first controversy. Last year, he shot to death another motorist. Two years ago, Wingo fired at a peaceful Black Lives Matter protester, shattering that man's jaw. Stand up. I'm trying, okay? Come on. And Wingo has no credibility, as this traffic stop proves. <laughs> this is f***ing ridiculous! This is ridiculous! <laughs> In this incident near Hot Springs, Arkansas, Charles Donner, a U.S. military veteran, and his wife Brittany were driving behind Wingo. The trooper saw somebody speeding the opposite direction and suddenly pulled a U-turn from a driving lane. The Donners honked their horn from behind. Clearly annoyed, Wingo decided to make it a 360, letting the speeding car go and pulling behind the Donners who were now in front of him. The dash camera audio went on right as Wingo smashed into the back of their car. Pull into the parking lot. Pull into the parking lot. The Donners did pull into the parking lot, and the lines from Officer Ryan Wingo began. Go ahead and send uh, one of the normal units over here to the uh, shoot factory. I had a car slam on the brakes in front of me. I had a car slam on the brakes in front of me. No, you flashed your lights, and they pulled over, as they are supposed to do. 10 4 10 Black registration insurance, sir. Why are you pulling me over? Because you're following me too closely. You nearly rammed me. No, I did not. You slammed on your brakes. You had no brake. You had no turn signal or nothing. I had to turn around on the car without speeding. I'm doing my job out here, sir. Give me your license. You hit me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll see you in court, dude. After lying to the Bonners, Wingo stepped away from them and lied again to radio dispatch. I had a car following me too closely. Nearly ran to me, turned around, got behind it, and it slammed on the brakes in front of me. I was unable to stop. I was 1038. But again, Wingo's own rear camera shows the Bonners were not following closely. And when Wingo got behind them, his own dash camera shows they did not slam on their brakes. Okay. Hey, you hit my f***ing car. We're on traffic stop right now. Out here. I want to see the damage done to my Give me a minute. Okay. We're on a traffic stop right now. Okay. Once I get done with my traffic stop, we're falling too closely. I was not falling too close. Clearly you were. You hit me. You stopped in the middle of a roadway, sir. No, you I didn't stop. I got over and I was I was in the lane. You trying to speed back up. No, no I was you trying to speed back up. Okay, you sir. You slammed on your gas. Okay. And you hit us. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I'm so I told you why I stopped you because you were following me too closely. But I wasn't. But okay. okay. We'll see in court. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? You don't need your ID. Yes, I do actually for the accident report that you fine. so that you so want, sir. Yes. I do want it. Okay. You fucking hit me. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a f bro. You f hit me. Get out of the car. Get out. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay, I'm, get getting, out the car. I'm getting out. There's no need for that. It's at this point when Brittany Donner started recording with her camera phone. Ridiculous! This is ridiculous! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Ma'am, there was no need for cussing me out. But cussing out a police officer, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, is protected speech and allowed under the First Amendment. Even under Arkansas law, telling a cop during a traffic stop to go f itself is not disorderly conduct. Until he can calm down and act like an adult, Listen, he's going back to the car. Let me explain to you. My husband we, has severe PTSD. Severe. Severe. He's a 100% disabled veteran. And he's That's why I'm here. You're going you to talk to me? You're going to let me talk? Or you're just going to interrupt me the entire time, ma'am? I'm sorry. Okay. Until he can calm down and act like a human being and stop cussing me out for no reason. So I'm trying to explain to him what happened. But he doesn't want to let me talk, okay? So do you want to let me talk or not? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Now. 
Back in Wingo's squad car, Charles Donner yelled for a police supervisor and demanded Wingo's name and badge number. You gonna calm down or not? Yeah. Damn, this is the biggest loss that you're ever gonna face. I want your badge number and I want your name written down for me. Stand by. When another state trooper arrived, Wingo lied again. He moves straight over from the inside lane to the outside lane, moves straight over and just slams on the brakes. And I'm just trying to get behind him, and he slams on his brake. And I didn't even have my lights on at that point, but he just stops in the middle of the road. And I hit him right A few minutes later, a state police supervisor got involved. The state police eventually released Mr. Donner without charging him with disorderly conduct, but they did issue a citation to him for following too closely and parking on a highway. The Donners have now filed a civil rights lawsuit. Get out. Okay. Get out. Car. Okay. I'm Get out the car. I'm getting out. And they're using a GoFundMe page to help cover costs of attorney fees. Legal experts say the case against Trooper Wingo is very strong. They note the evidence is clear that Wingo caused the collision with the Donners, lied about the facts of the encounter, both verbally and in his police report, and violated Mr. Donner's First and Fourth Amendment rights. Given Wingo's record, the Donners could consider themselves lucky they were not physically hurt. In June of 2021, Officer Wingo chased down a motorcyclist named Andrew Kemp Jr. Camp had allegedly been speeding, jumped off of his motorcycle, and ran into the woods. Wingo then shot him to death. There's no video of the fatal shooting, and there were no witnesses, but Wingo insisted that Kemp tried to grab his gun. And a local Arkansas prosecutor said Wingo's use of deadly force was justified. In June of 2020, Officer Wingo was at the state capitol in Little Rock for a Black Lives Matter protest. A man named Don Cook started walking towards police lines and Wingo fired at him repeatedly with beanbag projectiles, striking Cook in the face. According to the Arkansas Times, Cook has had to undergo three surgeries to repair a shattered jaw and broken teeth. And yet based on Officer Wingo's police report, Cook was charged with obstructing government operations. Controversy seems to follow Ryan Wingo, and it could be argued that he's one of the worst state troopers in America. I'm simply coming to talk to you. About what? In Smyrna, Georgia, with chew in his mouth, that is Officer Jay Brooks. There's a guy across the street. Said what? He's concerned about you at the gas station. Why was he concerned about me? He is questioning a gas station customer and passenger who are African American. Because he said that you pulled in. And, and did what? With some ladies. They're obviously not in the car. Having ladies in a car is not illegal. He said some ladies. There wasn't nothing but some ladies in here. You got the wrong person. Gas. It's not, there was no ladies in here. Okay. Is that necessary? Is that recording necessary? Oh, come on. Yes, it is, because is this necessary? You parked in front of me. I'm well, sitting out here in his ass, ass bro. Man, you can't do this, bro. I'm not doing nothing, bro. Uh, I didn't... You on camera, man. I never said that you were doing anything. Okay. What do you want? Uh, do you have your IDs on you? Why do you need my ID? Because... Now you're being hostile. No, I'm not. Man. I'm not being hostile, bro. You on yeah. camera, bro. You on, man, you on Absolutely camera. No, no, because you stop. You cannot do this to, you cannot stop in front of me. Like that. You, you, you blocking me in here, bro. You cannot do that. That's not, that's, I'm not doing, I'm not committing a crime. You cannot block me in here. That's not, I can get upset for that, bro. Yeah, but you block, no, you still here, bro. There's no point in no, yes it is, because I gotta go somewhere and you blocking me in now. What 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 did you just say I did? I didn't say you did. Okay anything. then, I haven't done nothing. You but don't need to block me here. Not. The driver is correct. A police officer is not allowed to detain anybody without reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. Stop. There's no reason. You just said it. Yourself. Hey, but Leave me, I'm, Brooks. I haven't yeah. done anything. Nothing. Hey. Right. Leave me alone, man. Please. Leave me alone. Ain't no guy across the street sitting there. Guy across the street said, girls in here. There's not even no girls in here, bro. 
What are you talking about, bro? You got the wrong information from that guy. False report. Go get him. I ain't done nothing. That guy in the light blue shirt works for the gas station and tries to tell the officer the man did nothing wrong. The officer then explains it this way. Basically, ain't no basement, an elderly bro. guy called, yes. said that they pulled up at the gas station, yeah, pumped gas, they, they drove off, and they came back to the gas call, station, man. pumped more gas within about five minutes, and he said that they pulled over here. Hey, get set back in the Bro, no, we looking at you, bro. It's all on you, bro. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, he said we pumped gas twice, so that, that's two That's two times we did business to that store, bro. In the BMW, bro. In the BMW, bro. I haven't done nothing, bro. You got to leave me alone. Yeah, he, pro he said what? What did I do? What have I done? While I'm here. What have I done wrong? I haven't said you've done anything wrong. Am I being detained? Wait, 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 wait. Right now, yes. You, were you detaining me? Yes. That's illegal, bro. Okay. Well, I haven't done nothing for you to detain me, bro. Oh, that's illegal, bro. You've been detaining me? Let me just ask him. Let me just ask him. No, not right now. What's the investigation about? What's the investigation about? Because of his behavior. Because of this behavior. Wow. Officer Brooks is blocking the men in and conducting an illegal detention. They don't like it and say as much. Bro, you, you, you blocking me in. Man, nah, bro. So Brooks uses that to keep them. No behavior, my behavior, he's blocking me in here. And he's blocking me in here for nothing. Zaspi's parking lot in a public place. He come back up. My behavior, if I block anybody in here, this is going to be the same behavior. Go block him in. Go let me block someone else in. You can't the passenger, now standing outside the car with his phone, says the apparent and unfortunate truth out loud. This is like, this is white people, bro. This is they area. We're not supposed to be out here, man. Bro, hold up, bro. It's on camera, bro. You gonna force them to do what? You finna force them to do something? Bro. You finna force them to do something? No, I asked him to get back in the car. All right. Do you have your ID on you? Bro, bro, man, we got some ID wild. It's a crime. Under settled law, passengers in a vehicle traffic stop are not required to produce ID, although police can still ask. Wait, why he got some your ID? What are you doing? What are you finna do? Bro, why are you asking me that? Is a crime ban? Bro, bro, is a crime ban happening right now? That's the passenger asking if there is a crime being committed. And again, the officer refuses to answer. So the passenger declines to produce an identification and the driver keeps refusing as well. It don't matter, bro. You don't supposed to be over here, bro. Did nothing. Look how it cost. Everybody's saying, chill, be cool. But like, it don't happen all the time. It's don't happen to me all the time, bro. Yeah. Every time. Oh, yo, it's just great. This happened to me all the time, bro. Moments later, oh, yeah, Officer yeah, Brooks gives an ultimatum. Okay, so... You can look, you can look in the car, ain't there any No, what? I'm putting some water in you. What? 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 Oh, one more time, I'm gonna ask you your ID. You're not gonna intimidate me. And then if you refuse, one more time, you're best going to jail. For what? For what? Why is that obstruction? Why is that? No, 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 where's, no, where's, I need, I need the supervisor here. Come here. No, no, come here, cause no, no, come here. You have to come here. Wait, so I'm asking you, you to come here. So that is not obstruction, cause I had I did nothing to get pulled over for. That is not obstruction. That's not. What is this investigation about? Pumping gas? Listen to me. That is not obstruction. You're not gonna yell. What is your name, sir? You're not gonna yell. What is your name? My name is Sergeant Casey. Okay. C A S O N. There's gotta be someone above you if you don't know what I'm talking about, bro. I did nothing. Listen to me. Stop yelling. We're gonna stop yelling at each other. Okay? We were called because somebody said that you were at the gas station. I don't know nothing wrong. And you know, sometimes it's suspicious. Like wow, well, is popping gas? Listen, listen. Popping gas is suspicious at Tim. Okay. You left, came back. Whoever called. The wrong car. There's no women in this car. I'm going to check the BP, and there's nothing. It gave the wrong description. This is what we're going to do. Officer Brooks asked you for your ID. For what? You're refusing to give him his ID. Give you. Wait, no, hell no, bro. You're locking my brother up for what? Man, no, bro. No, no, I got to refute. No, you locking my brother up. And he's sitting in his car? Are you going to give us your ID? Bro. He can't lock me up. 
I ain't do nothing. Back Bro, up. what? He's in the passenger seat. Don't worry. What are, no, no. What are you guys doing? I need to see someone above you guys. No, I need to see someone above you. You cannot lock him up. You, no, if you lock my brother, I have to refuse everything. You cannot lock him up. No, he's not obstructing anything. He's a passenger. He's a passenger. He's a passenger. He doesn't have any of that. He doesn't have to say anything. He doesn't, you don't have to talk to a passenger. You do not have to talk to a passenger. No, no, you have to call someone. The driver then got pulled out of the vehicle and arrested as well. Based on the lack of police charging documents, it appears both men were eventually released and not charged. However, legal experts say the men have grounds for a strong civil lawsuit and that the police clearly violated their First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendment rights. Furthermore, legal experts say the police engaged in false imprisonment and appeared to break Georgia's code for kidnapping. In other words, the Smyrna police officers violated several state and federal laws, and we're talking about law enforcement officers. It means they either don't know the law or know the law and don't care about constitutional rights.